<coughs> anyway, <coughs> the first thing of course is that our nifty chart. So if you look at nifty chart, right, today we formed a bearish engulfing. This is not good. Yesterday we looked like we were going strong. Today we look like we are going weak. The problem is we formed a bearish engulfing and that is going and testing the 200 DMA. That is not good. It is usually a sign that Nifty is going to uh, 17,000. So two uh, days back, we had said that buying near 16,800 to 17,000 is the actual zone of support. This might be a good idea to enter. Anything above that, it's not great. Even yesterday, we said that it's very conflicting signals. If we get dips, then on dips, we can go long. But till then, yesterday at yesterday's level it was not a good idea is what largely we had talked about right so that is kind of playing out to be exactly the way it is because um, we are looking at um, um, 17,200 plus levels are not good enough to buy 17,000 might be good enough to buy so today anyway that is how it played out so we can see that today there is a bull bearish engulfing formed and this is a clear negative signal and at 17,000, we are having a support, which is the 200 DMA. It is testing that, right? That is point number one. So like we said yesterday, this was not a good point to buy. Maybe this is a good point to buy. We'll find that out zone soon. But I think the absolute great level to buy is actually as close to 16,800 as possible. Because this is such a critical uh, swing point. I personally feel that it might test 16,800 16, again. So for me, the best buying zone is somewhere around 16800 that is point number one right now let us look at bank nifty bank nifty yesterday we talked about it there was a 50 dma here <coughs> it tested 50 dma rejected and it came down today so this is a negative signal for sure so bank nifty chart looks a little weak right uh, now let's look at open interest charts everything is sell call and put unwinding happened at every level today which makes the overall option chain look like this which is one seventeen thousand is gone. Any kind of support is missing after that. Sixteen eight hundred and below might have some kind of support, but for two hundred points we have no support. And PCR is also zero point five, which is very low bearish. So finally, moving to FIA data, the number of puts outstanding is more than three times the number of calls outstanding. Today they sold calls and bought puts. Index futures thousand crore sells. Stocks four thousand crore sells net net everything looks bearish right so for me the chart is bearish why because bearish engulfing candle testing the 200 dma and the support is as close to 16800 as possible a uh, bag nifty is negative candle rejection from 50 dma it is bearish option chain is negative because uh, obviously we talked about it fi data is negative so everything is negative so i won't be long in this i would probably be short till 16,800 and I look to uh, so basically 16,800 to 70,000 is a support but supports can break so I'll wait for price action at 16,800 before the next trade so if 16,800 holds then long else short below the break of 16,800 is the point now one important thing we have to remember is FOMC minutes are coming day after um, tomorrow, right? Um, sorry, not day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow, tomorrow night, that is day after tomorrow morning, we'll see the effect of it, right? So uh, because there is an FOMC event risk, um, I think there could be some violence in the market. So maybe it's not a great idea to carry big positions into day after tomorrow's expiry. So I'll just write that out also. But once the FOMC minutes are over, right, then it is very clear what to do after that. So my trading strategy for this expiry would be, I'll wait till FOMC event is over, that is tomorrow night. Day after tomorrow, I'll see how market reacts. If market holds 16,000 to 17,000 and forms some kind of intraday reversal signal or intraday bullish signal or even day end bullish signal, I'll try to go along the market. But if 16800 breaks convincingly with volumes, then there could be further pain in the market and we could see much lower levels, right? So if you want to aggressively punt, 
probably you can sell <coughs> 17,000 plus calls, right? So aggressive trade is sell 17,200 plus calls because I don't want to sell 17,000, right? Because that's a tricky call to sell. Gamma is very high. In fact, even 17,100 plus calls, <coughs> uh, not big positions, right? Why? Because look at this open interest chart, right? It's very clear that 17,000 is very, is going to be very difficult to go above. So I'd probably look to sell anything at 17,100, even 17,200 I'll happily sell, but I won't uh, sell the puts because I think there might be downside sell 16,800. So what is my uh, potential read on the market? I'll just illustrate it in a paintbrush app. So see, the first point is that there could be a downside till 16,800, right? Point number one, which means that there's no point in selling puts right now because 16,800 test ho sakta and it can even break, right? Um, what is it that we know for a fact 17,200 plus has resistance right so 17,200 plus pay I'll definitely so this is the thing right this is 17,000 which is where market is right now this is 16,800 which is our zone of support so nifty is right now here so my point is that either it will go here and then continue like this or it might go here and bounce back like this in either case right 17,100 plus is a good call to sell because there is a possibility of a move till 16,800 and or break but it doesn't look like from 17,000 it is going to bounce and cross 17,200 immediately or 100 immediately. So 17,100 call sell might be a very interesting trade to take. At least it's the most sane, to, sane trade to take right now <clears throat> because it also has reasonable premiums I think. So tomorrow there might be some bounce at the open. So if you are able to time it well intraday, 17,100 gives you somewhere around 50 rupees call i mean it's not much but it's not too bad either so i would probably look to sell 17100 or aboka calls simply because i think from 17000 we might see a visit to 16800 from where it could either bounce or go down further right uh, so light positions not too much positions market looks bearish definitely not going to buy calls definitely not going to short puts because of the break risk Selling calls is a very sane thing to do if you want to trade despite the event risk, right? Ideally, I mean, you can choose to let this thing go, but I don't want to get into the mode where I'm always asking people not to trade. So let's go for 17,100 plus calls for this particular expiry. USDNR looks a little bit weak, but again, right? This has gone into territory where it's dif very difficult to trade. So I, I would ideally say ki staying away is a good idea. This looks like a reversal because this is a uh, very strong um, bearish piercing followed by a candle. So at this level, I would definitely be not long because if you look at this candle, this is a bearish piercing reversal candle. This, uh, but then the point is there are so many other supports coming all the way from here to here. So this is a reversal candle. I would probably not long here, but I don't want to uh, short here because all of these zones will provide support for dollar and more importantly the long-term trend is up right so why bet against long-term trend so dollar uh, let's pass for now nifty short till 16800 by preferred instruments sell calls possibly bank nifty also will fall uh, if nifty falls because this is a reversal signal and there's a 50 dma above so maybe we'll see bank nifty also maybe correcting a per percent or two uh, <clears throat> but largely my preferred trade is sell nifty 17,100 or above calls for this expiry right uh, so all right that is our analysis for today i'll keep this thing short because a lot of users have been asking people to keep it short so oh yeah cpi data which is also in queue because uh, us inflation data is now something everybody gives you know, a lot of importance to so that is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual these are not tips recommendations advice anything uh, as i don't say simple things works hopefully they do work i don't so we'll see you again tomorrow and the ever important one day before fomc minutes uh, analysis so till then uh, take care